Are you looking for a budget-friendly microphone to pair with your Sony A6400? Do you want a budget option as good as or better than the standard microphone in the market? In this video, I'm going to compare one of the industry standards, the Rode Video Micro, versus the budget-friendly competitor, the Comica V30 Lite. And that comparison is next. But first, if you're new to my channel, my name is Brian the Camera Guy. On my channel, I review Sony gear, more specifically the Sony A6400. I also talk about accessories for that camera, like in today's video where I'm gonna be discussing microphones. If that's something that you're into, consider subscribing. And on your way down there, make sure you leave me a like and comment on what microphone option you're using for your DSLR, mirrorless camera, or smartphone. Some would say that audio is more important than video. And today I'm gonna to give you two options that are gonna help ensure that you get some crispy audio. Today, I have one of the industry standards, the Rode Video Micro. And the Challenger, the Comica V30 Lite. Now, Comica did send me this microphone to test out for you today, but I wanna to assure you that my opinions are my own. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video and I will give you my unbiased opinion on whether the Comica V30 Lite is better than the Rode Video Micro. If you'd like to check out more about either one of these products, I will put links to all the products talked about in this video down in the description below. Enough talking. Let's jump in to the comparison of the Comica V30 Lite versus the Rode Video Micro. So let's go ahead, throw these two mics on the camera and see which audio quality sounds the best. First up, the reigning champion of small budget microphones, the Rode Video Micro. Let's go ahead, throw this on the camera and see how the audio quality sounds. All right, we got the Rode Video Micro on the camera right now. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about the audio quality for the Rode Video Micro. The Rode Video Micro is a compact, lightweight microphone that comes in at a height and width of 21 millimeters and a teeny tiny length of 80 millimeters. It weighs in at only 42 grams. That's 1.5 ounces. What this microphone lacks in size, it makes up in quality. It's an all metal body and it requires no batteries as it is powered by the camera. It also comes with the Ryko, the Ryko Ryri, it also comes with a shock mount and a furry windscreen, otherwise known as a dead cat. Meow, meow, meow. Its output is the 3.5 mini jack and it has a frequency range of 100 hertz all the way up to 20,000 hertz. It has an equivalent noise level of 20 decibels and the Rogue Video Micro can be paired with your DSLR, mirrorless camera, and even your smartphone. This microphone packs a lot of punch in a teeny tiny little body. So now this is the indoor audio quality test of the Rode Video Micro. Audio test one, two, three. Audio test one, two, three. Make sure you comment down below after we compare the Comica V30 Lite and let us know which option sounds better to you. At the time of this video, the Rode Video Micro comes in just under $60. Next up, the Challenger, the Comica V30 Lite. Let's go ahead, throw this one on the camera and hear what the audio quality sounds like with this one. All right, now we have the Comica V30 Lite onto the Sony a6400. That means it's time for the Challenger. The Comica V30 Lite comes in in an impressive 52 grams or 1.8 ounces. It's a little bit bigger than the Rode Video Micro as it has a height of 86 millimeters, a width of 50 millimeters, and an impressive 166 millimeter length. It's nearly twice the size as the Rode Champion at about the same weight. It has a super cardinoid body and also requires no power as it is powered exclusively from the camera itself, just like the Rode Video Micro. It also has a super shock resistant mount and a one inch windscreen. Sorry folks, no dead cat with this one. It too uses the 3.5 millimeter audio jack and its frequency actually starts lower than the Rode Video Micro. It starts at 40 Hertz and goes all the way up to that 20,000 Hertz. The Comica V30 Lite does come with a one fourth thread at the bottom so you can mount it to a standard tripod. It also has a camera smartphone switch this allows the mic to put the correct audio gain on whatever device you're using. Here's the indoor audio test of the Comica V30 Lite. Audio test one, two, three. Audio test one, two, three. At the time of this video, the Comica V30 Lite comes in just under $40. That's a 33% savings over the Rode Video Micro. But where the price 
is lower, the quality is just as good. All that's great, but at the end of the day, the quality coming out of these two microphones is more important than any of the features that I just rattled off to you today. Now, I've been using the Rode Video Micro for two years, and what I consider switching to the Comica V30 Lite, well, maybe we need to do an outdoor audio quality test to give you a final comparison. So let's go ahead, jump outside, and hear how the audio sounds while you're outside. So I'll see you out there. All right, welcome to our outdoor set. I currently have the Comica V30 Lite on the camera right now. It does run a little bit hotter than the Rogue, so generally I have to set this at about a seven on my Sony A6400. And that's due to the extra frequency hertz that you get. Remember, this starts at 40 hertz, where the Rode Video Micro will start at 100 hertz. So those extra hertz really help. There are some birds chirping in the background. Not sure if you can hear those. I guess we'll check that out when we get inside. So let's go ahead, we'll throw the road on. Um, now once again, this does not have a windscreen on it, so I do recommend getting a windscreen. Let's go ahead, throw the Rogue on, and check out that audio quality. Audio test one, two, three. Audio test one, two, three. This is the Comica V30 Lite. Let's go ahead and throw on the Rogue. All right, so here we are, we're back. Uh, now I got the Rode Video Micro on here, and this one, uh, like I said, I do have to bump up the gain a little bit. We have to bump up the in-camera audio to a 16, uh, but this does have the nice dead cat, so that's gonna cut down on a lot of wind noise for you. So this is the audio quality you can expect coming out of the Rode Video Micro. Audio test one, two, three. Audio test one, two, three. Go ahead and let me know down in the comments below which one sounds better in the outdoor test. Let's go back inside and finish up this video. All right, welcome back. So now, when I use the Rode Video Micro indoors, I usually have it set at around 14 to 16 on my Sony A6400. When I'm using the Comica V30 Lite, I can get away with using between seven to 10 for a volume level setting on my Sony A6400. So would I recommend getting the Comica V30 Lite? Well, not unless you go and invest in a dead cat. This thing uh, does not do super well if it is an average windy day. Uh, if it's a perfectly calm day, then absolutely, uh, this microphone's gonna work fine. But if you can invest in a dead cat and get a true dead cat on this thing, I think it's gonna do much better. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a dead cat to test that or give you the audio quality. But like I said, for an indoor test, I think it works great. If you have to pick up a dead cat anyway, you might as well just stick with the Rode Video Micro. Now, if you are looking for an option that is a little bit higher end, so if you want to compare this to the Rode VideoMic Pro, then maybe saving an extra $150 would make a lot of sense for you. As it stands, if you're looking for comparison between two budget-friendly options, I'd probably stick with the Rode Video Micro, as that one is cheaper. It's gonna ultimately cost you about the same price when you throw on the deck cap. But I wanna know what you think. So comment down below with which microphone you thought sounded better on the Sony A6400, and let me know what your favorite microphone option is for your DSLR or mirrorless camera. Make sure you like, subscribe, ring the bell so you don't miss out on my future videos. If you wanna see another video about accessories, make sure you click right here. And if you wanna see another video from my channel, click right here. Once again, I'm Brian the Camera Guy. This has been a comparison of the Rode Video Micro versus the Comica V30 Lite. Thanks for watching.